Coralville, Iowa. A couple things to get to before we get into the introductions. Isma Musakayev at 65 kilos for the all-world team is not available, uh, so the all-world team will forfeit that matchup for the duels at 65 kilos, meaning nine wrestlers will participate. Um, also, at 61 kilos and 92 kilos from Mongolia, those athletes did not make the trip. So Mongolia, in freestyle, will compete with eight wrestlers instead of ten. Uh, team presentation tonight begin at 7 p.m., starting with women's wrestling. Uh, and without further ado, team introductions. We have Kamran Gashimpour of the Islamic Republic of Iran, two-time world champion. Also, we have reigning world champion at 65 kilos, Rahman Amuzad Halili from the Islamic Republic of Iran. To my left, your right, is Yasmin Adar, two-time world champion and Tokyo Olympic bronze medalist. Amit Alor from the United States, reigning world champion and world silver medalist from the United States at 65 kilos, Yanni Giyak Mahalis. Let's open the floor for questions. Who wants to start us off? Please. Thanks, Eric. Uh, question is for uh, Kamran and, and Rahman. I was uh, very glad you guys made it. Um, I just wanted to know if uh, you could uh, talk about the rivalry between Iran and the USA. There's a lot of respect on the mat for both teams on both sides, but what it means to you, what it, does it mean to you guys to be here in the U.S. competing against the Americans? <laughs> و میخوام بدونن که در گروه دوشای خیلی به هم رسپکتر بینید کشیگیرهای آمریکایی و ایرانی و میخوام بدونید که احساس شما چیه که الان اومدین اینجا و میخوام اینجا کشتی بگیرین و اینجا خیلی خوشحالیم که این مصابات شرکت کردیم همیشه کشتی بین تیمای ایران و آمریکا پر از جذابیت بوده. It's always uh, the wrestling between the two teams in the United States and Iran always it was very attractive for everybody. با ستارهایی که دو تیم همیشه داشتن مقابل هم تعاون می‌کردن و واقعا احساس بوده و این بار هم تو آمریکا تو شهر آیوا اومدیم مسابقه بدیم و امیدواریم که کشتی ها رو حالا تیم ایران از گروه خودش و تیم آمریکا از گروه خودش مرد به مرد پیروز بشیم. And also, he's very happy that here, and uh, he wishing that you know that uh, from the group they can come up, and also the United States come up from the other group. We do not want to, if two teams in the final get to the final, the final is very important for the two countries, and that the competitors get to enjoy the fun. And also, if they if they have a match in you know in the final. It should be very exciting for everybody, for both countries, and also everybody will love wrestling. Please. Um, question for Yanni. Uh, how did uh, Ravan's uh, decision to come here and compete influence you to compete here in the middle of your college season? I mean, it, it uh, definitely played a factor. He's a very good competitor, and you know, there's a lot of mistakes that I made in the world finals that you know, I think I've improved on. And this is kind of my only real opportunity to test that before, you know, if we meet again at the World Championships this coming year. Um, my question will be Farsi first. Yes. I can translate it or I can ask first in English so everyone knows what I'm talking about. My question is about uh, these two uh, champions from Iran. Uh, as you know, Persian, Iran wrestling is really mixed. Iran, the wrestling in Iran is a national sport and the Pahlavani and, and the, the humbleness and, and the, the, the heat, they're, they're looking at this wrestler as a hero, but there is unrest in Iran and lots of people look at them uh, as a hero, as a champion, and they want to know what they think and they're under pressure, I know that. Yes. I uh, just want to ask this question for see what they think. You I think it's think. best that we make sure that we keep these questions directed towards the World Cup and anything that we have towards a political matter would probably be best to done to be done outside of the room when obviously the cameras uh, I mean, this are is, this, this not is the best time but right. I think, uh, for, for Iranian audience to see that Iranian wrestlers uh, yeah. uh, getting signed to Iranian people at least and what they think. 
But, but before we do that, I just please make sure that if they don't feel comfortable yeah, answering these course. questions, that okay. they are. یا حمایت بکنید یا موزه خودتون رو مشخص کنید چی فکر می‌کنید شما برای مردم ایران و شرایط هر چیزی که کدوم کدوم کامو فکر می‌کنید خب تو هر جای دنیا یه موزه‌ای بیش میاد تمام کشورها و کشور ما هم حالا یه سری مسائل هست که حالا پیش اومده و اینکه ما ورزشکارا و وظیفه‌مون ورزش کردنه و ما که الان اینجا این نماینده مردم ایران هستیم و اومدیم که تو این میدون که بتونیم دل مردم رو مشاد کنیم و لحظه دلشون شاد ما از جنس مردم هستیم و خودمون هم جزء این مردم حساب میشیم جزء میدون ایرانی حساب میشیم که داریم تو ایران زندگی میکنیم و قطعا هر خوبی و خوشی که هست واسه کل مردم ایران و اگه بدی و اتفاقی هم باشه واسه کل مردم و ان که همه ما حالا هر کسی که تو ایران حالا زندگی میکنه بتونه که حالا از پس این مشکلات بر بیاد و به یه چیز خوبی بود ما ما سفیرای ورزش ایران هستیم و وظیفه‌مون گفتم ورزش کردن و حالا به نوبه کشتی گرفتن و اومدیم که بتونیم دل مردممون و هموطنامون رو شاد کنیم ان که این اتفاقا به زودی حل بشه و هم مردم و عزیزمون و هم جامعه ایران به یه آرامشی برسن و ان که دل همه هم وطن همون تو هر جای دنیا و تو خود کشور ما به شادی باشه و کام به شوشیگی باشه everybody in Iran and also make them heart happy and um, so he mentioned that there are problems in some problem there and also there are problems in some other countries but uh, what he hoped that uh, they can come over here and be represent the Iranian people and uh, they can gain success and make them happy and I think the general is that's all. Other questions? I do have, but I know that I do respect to others. I mean, Gary is sitting here. Uh, my next question is about um, uh, Rahman. So Rahman is a rising star, and Iranian people look at him as a next champion for next years. I mean, a few years, uh, he can be on the top of the. So what is the next uh, goal for you? So you got in Belgrade, you were a uh, witness of uh, you got to the top of the all gold medal. What is your next dream? Do you think, uh, what is your next step? And the, your rivals, uh, I have to do the Farsi. Did you see the champion of the world? The problem is that you have to do the same thing. And the champion of the world is the same thing. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Thank you, God. مدال جهانی نصب خودم کنم فرنس باید که این گیم در یو نو گولد مدال ای تراید تو جست کچ اپ بیت هم بود و سختی فقط خودم میتونم رقیب خودم باشم و به دنبال رپورد یا چیزی نیست فقط میخوام به بهترین خودم باشم و مدال آوری کنم و بالاترین لذت به من هستش که دل مردم کشور مشاهد کنم و از این موضوع لذت ببرم uh, I, I'm not really uh, looking to gain any medal. I just try to be my own uh, competition and uh, just challenging. And uh, whatever I gain, I just want to get my people happy and make their heart happy. Uh, Yasmin, how does it feel to represent Turkey on the uh, all war team? Turkey, what the team should make us be doing? Ee, öncelikle hepinize çok teşekkür ederim. Hani kusura bakmayın İngilizce yine öğrendiğim için hani çevirimi Kadir yapacak. Um, first of all, um, I'm so sorry, so my English is not the best, so 
um, I have to translate, but um, I'm happy to be here. Dünya karmasında olduğum için çok şanslıyım, çok gururluyum ve çok mutluyum. Birbirinden güçlü rakipler olacak. Ben de Türkiye Cumhuriyeti'nde ilk hani şampiyon olan bir kadın güreşçi olduğum için ve ilk kez de böyle bir organizasyona yer aldığım için gerçekten çok güzel olacağını inanıyorum ve çok güzel maçlar yapacağımızı düşünüyorum. İnşallah takım halinde de bir kupayı kazanabiliriz. It makes me very proud um, to be the first Turkish woman um, in the in the in the world team in the in the World Cup and um, also for my country. Um, I think we have a good team and I'm very happy and proud to be represent my country in this very very strong team and I hope um, we win the World Cup. Question for Amit. Uh, we just saw you in Spain. Uh, you won three world medals, uh, two age levels, and then the senior level. So you had a pretty busy year already. Uh, can you talk about how you've been able to, um, you know, keep your training going and, and uh, stay ready for these big events? And then, um, like, was there any debate about whether you even had the time and the ability to train for another one coming up here with this World Cup? Uh, yes, there was a lot of it. Uh, there was a lot of debate about it, but I was trying to take it one competition at a time. I think it was too much to focus on all three world championships at the same time. And I think with each competition I gained more experience, learned more about myself, uh, and got a little bit better as the summer went on. Uh, I was worried about maintaining my training with all of the travel, um, but it, it worked out well and I was able to uh, win all three, so I'm very happy with um, my performance this past summer. I can ask, what was the favorite world championship out of oh, the three? Uh, hands down, the senior world championships, of course. It's amazing. Why do you say that? Um, well, that's wrestling at the highest level that I could possibly wrestle at, and being able to win at that level was amazing. It's something I, I dreamt of, but I didn't think could happen, and I was able to do it, so it was amazing. Follow-up question for me. Um, we can't ignore your face on the on the arena as you walk in. How have you been able to handle, you know, becoming a star at such a young age and handling the success? How have you been able to stay humble? Um, I mean, honestly, I still I still don't feel like a star. <laughs> I still feel like I'm the I'm the same Amit that I've always been. Uh, it's just a little bit a little bit extra pressure for sure. But I'm trying to stay true to myself, focus on my values and my wrestling and just work towards becoming a better wrestler, enjoying the process, and working towards achieving my biggest dreams. Another one for uh, Yanni. Uh, you've kind of in a transition period of uh, ending your collegiate career, and now um, you know, you've know you made multiple world teams and you've gotten a medal, so you kind of feel like, um, obviously, the Cornell team and, and that season is still very important to you. But uh, do you are you looking ahead to now, uh, you know, focusing on being a leader with the senior level world team and, and everybody now that you're on a World Cup team as well? You know, uh, this world team, this group of guys especially, are really experienced. You know, I think I was the youngest guy on the team this year. So, you know, for as long as I'm competing for Cornell, I'm always going to be there for those guys. And you know, I think that they probably consider me more of a leader. Um, I think I'm still in that part of my career where I'm learning a lot from the guys I'm around. And obviously, you know, as the years go by, I want to be able to help the guys around me as much as I can. But for now, I'm still kind of in a learning position. Question uh, to Rahman, as the young guy. Uh, we've seen uh, and experienced lots of Iranian athletes, wrestler coming to the United States. You are uh, the first time coming to U.S. What was the hospitality of U.S. wrestling and uh, U.S. Uh, people as you uh, as contact these two three years? I know you have such problem with the getting visa and, and getting here in two parts. You arrived here, but what was what is your uh, experience up to now uh, from Iwani and, and, and uh, here? in the U.S. My question in Farsi, I've been going to my young girl, and it's about the bad year. Kablan Hassan Yazani, Aliza Karimi, and I've been going to my young girl. I've been going to my young girl. 
است چه جوری دیدی این مهمان نوازی یا برخوردی که تو کردم توی آمریکا از زمان ویزا میدونیم سختی کشید تا الان آن به موقع ویزا من خواستیم سودتر آورد آمریکا بشیم و به شرایط آب و هوا اینجا و ساعت اینجا که جلو عقب هستش ولی خب مشکلی نیست و به این حالت نسبتا عادت کردیم و ما اومدیم بیاییم به فینال و مسابقه رو با آمریکا آمریکا منظوم بر چالا میاد فینال و یک کشته زیبا و احساس و اینکه بتونیم دل مردم کشورمون و مردم آمریکا از این موضوع شاد بشه و لذت ببرن از این رقابت و آدم های خیلی خونگرمی هستن و آدم های خیلی هیجان انگیز و رقابت هستن و من از این موضوع خیلی لذت میبرم و خوشحال هستم از این موضوع I've got first is that uh, they get in the visa but you know for timing it's some issue maybe that they come come over here and get used to the weather and changing weather and also the biological hours that is going to be very short for them to catch up with but they will be okay with that and also he wished that uh, United States can come up from the other group and they can uh, you know have a, a match in the final and both the people from both countries they get happy to see it and get enjoyed and also he see that the wrestling from the United States very competitive for them and he enjoy doing that. I asked about the hospital. And also, they said that, you know, the United States <laughs> people that was there really warm welcome to them and he's really happy with that. Another question for uh, Raman. Uh, how did seeing the Iranian team when the Greco World Cup uh, influence you to come here to wrestle uh, the Freestyle World Cup? Uh, actually, I you're behind more than didn't really can you repeat your question again please yeah how did uh how did seeing the iranian greco-roman team win the world cup influence him to come to america for the freestyle world cup okay so so <laughs> so how you feel about the batch of چه احساسی در مورد بچه های فرنگی داری که اونا قهرمان شدن و الان چه فکر میکنی چه فشاری روی شما ها هست که الان اومده اینجا با توجه به نتیجه که اونا گرفتن خب ما از این موضوع خوشحال هستیم و خود وقت خیلی خوشحالم که تیم فرنگی ایران تونست قهرمان جام جهانی بشه و حالا خب بعد از اون فوتبال نتونست قهرمان جام جهانی بشه و ما اومدیم بهترین خودم باشیم و از جون مایه میذاریم تمام تلاش خودم میکنیم برای قهرمانی تا بتونیم دل مردم کشورمون رو شاد کنیم و اینکه ما همه سرباز کشورمون هستیم و از جون و دل مایه میذاریم The first thing is happy that you know the other wrestler from Iran, uh, they win the world champion, and uh, but in the soccer they was not that successful. But he said that we do our best in their own line, and that they came over here for compete, and they do the best that they can uh, win the you know world champion. And also he said that he, he is feeling like a soldier of a country, and he do his best and put 100% of himself to win. و اینکه هر کشوری میاد قهرمان جام جهانی بشه چه در فوتبال چه در کشتی چه در کشتی فرنگی که ایران قهرمان شد چه در کشتی آزاد تیمانه که هستن همه تیم برای قهرمانی میان و بیجنگن کسی قهرمان میشه که برترین باشه قهرمانی آزاد خودش بیشه and they do their best and uh, every country do their best to, to you know uh, win but uh, they came over here to do their best and they hope that they can you know win the world champion and on the last one the last one you take on the last one you take on the last one you take on the and who is the best? I can't forget the last one. And, and, and whoever wins, that they have the, you know, they are the best. They're gonna win. And you know, that's, that's yeah. Question for uh, Cameron: uh, Will he be wrestling 92 or 97 kilograms? And uh, thoughts on potential matchup against 
Nate Jackson or Kyle Snyder? من حالا به عنوان ملی پوشت این دوره از مسابقات شرکت کردم و اینکه کادر فنی نظر کادر فنی که خود تو چه وزنی از من استفاده کنم تو هر وزنی که کادر فنی نظر داشته باشه و اینکه به خود انتخاب کن تو چه وزنی کشتی بگیرم من با کمال میل اونو میپذیرم و استقبال میکنم و بی صبرانه منتظر مسابقه هستم و ببینم نظر کاد فنی چیه و خیلی مشتاقم که ببینم کاد فنی چه نظری هستی من دارم Wait, he have to uh, challenge, but you know he's ready for both, and he said whatever it is, I'm gonna be uh, doing it, and he's still waiting and to see what they're gonna decide about it. And, and what question about the uh, Masada Darudah? Yeah. Uh, check your sighting, Mukhani. Uh, how do you check your sighting? تو تمام نه این مسابقات در تمام مسابقات تمام حریفا واسه من قابل احترام هستن و تمام حریفا به هیچ چشم نگاه میکنن و تو هر مسابقه ای سعی میکنم بهترین خودم باشم و هیچ کدوم از کسی مستثنا و با تمام حریفا میگم حریفایی که اینجا وجود دارن نه کل حریفایی که تو این وزن وجود دارن با یه برنامه‌ریزی کشی میگیرن و هیچ فرقی واسه من ندارن حریف The, about that who he gonna challenge and he said he respect everybody that he you know uh, has wrestling and match with and also uh, he has no idea he gonna be faced with but you know since all his career that he do this wrestling he respect everybody and he do his best doesn't matter who's his you know uh, wrestler in front couple more questions before we let the athletes get out of here last question of uh, Cameron. Um, my question is, Cameron was uh, in Oslo, he was shining, and then we j everyone in Iran said, well, new star is forming right now in Oslo, in Norway. And then he repeated again uh, in Belgrade, and everyone in, in Iran, in wrestling family, is hoping for, you know, after Hassan Yazdani, we have a great Cameron, uh, um, sort of course. <laughs> Uh, my question, of course, will be how you're gonna. You you came late, but how how much you put your life, energy, and everything. Where is the end? How much and how many years you wanna compete? To uh, very dear, shukufa shodi, late umadi to the dressy. Sale two thousand and twenty-one. Ki aslo de rachidi ye setari jadidi. I omid dar رسنگ فامیلی ایرانی ها خوشحال شدن که استار جدید دارن بعد از حسنی ارزنی سال بعدش اومدی توی بلگراد تکرار کردی دیگه همه بهت امید بستن so, uh, تا کی میخوای ادامه بدی گولت کجا هست uh, خیلی دیر داری به حقت میرسی ولی خیلی محکم اومدی و امید رو زنده کردی the way you are wrestling you are a role model for everyone kids in Iran the way Cameron is listening. To the the question you give. You have your own style in their eyes. Uh, the Chesh So, what is your goal? Well, I think that تو سال دو سال پشتم قهرمان امیدای جهان شده بودم تو وزن 86 کیلو دو سال متوالی قهرمان آسیا شدم تو وزن 86 کیلو و به خاطر حالا شرایط هایی که بود تو ایران حالا به دلایلی پشت خط موندم و اینکه سال 2021 تو مسابقات اسلو با یه تصمیم تونستم بیام به یه وزن بالاتر تو وزن 92 کیلوگرم کشی بگیرم و ملی پوش این وزن تو مسابقات جهانی بشم so, uh, 
so many years. He got the chance, 221, uh, one uh, weight, uh, 292, competing, and he put everything to get the championship. و تونستم تو اولین میدونم میدونی که تو بعض 92 کیلوگرم کشته میگم نتیجه خوبی بگیرم و first time in 92 kilogram uh, getting the best result و باعث شد که تو این وضع مندگار بشم و در حال حاضر کشته بگیرم so he stays in the same weight category because uh, uh, he got two, two, two years in a row و در این وضع امسال هم کشته میگیرم انشالله و اینکه سال اولمپیک هم با یه تصمیم حالا ببینم به به حسب شرایط تصمیم میگم حالا تو چه وضع المپیکی میخوام شرکت کنم ان شاء الله که تو هر وضعی میخوام شرکت کنم بتونم اول ملی پوش کشورم بشم و ان شاء الله که بتونم تو مسابقه المپیک شرکت کنم ان هیز ثینکینگ هیز هوپینگ دت فرست تایم فور دی استین دی سیم وی کاتگوری اون تو دی المپیک ا دی المپیک دی ویل دیساید وذ دی سیچویشن ات دت تایم وذ دی دی کوچز اند اند اول Uh, his trainer and coaches and see which way he will compete in the Olympic whatever it, they choose and whatever is situation uh, allows so he, he tried to be first being a national team and get the uh, best result perfect final questions Gary take it away I mean could you talk a little bit about being in your first World Cup and just the format of dual meets and comparison to all those tournaments you did this summer. Yeah, it's it's really exciting. Uh, the last time I've done dual meets was when I was 10, 11, 12 years old, and that was on boys' teams. And those were some of the, the funnest, best mem uh, wrestling memories I have. So to be on a dual team and do this again at the highest level at this age is amazing. And I'm really excited that the men's team gets to wrestle alongside the women's team and that we're in the U.S. I think this is a really special opportunity and I'm really, really excited to see how everyone does and to go out there and wrestle. Final question. All right. This is questions for Yanni and Raman. Uh, you guys wrestled each other in the World Finals. It's an incredible match. Yanni, what did you learn from that match? I mean, saying to Rama, what did you learn from that match? Um, and what are you expecting the next time you guys meet, hopefully this weekend? Well, this question is for... Oh, okay. Both. Uh, این این سوال برای شما هست یا یعنی میگن که شما با هم دیگه مچ کردین دفعه قبل و مقابله کردین مقابله هم قرار گرفت تو فینال شما هم مسابقه دادین خیلی مسابقه خیلی جذابی بود چی فکر می‌کنید واسه این مسابقه که پیش رو هست برای اینکه احتمالاً فهم می‌کنید سو از سوالش جواب بده سو یو ار گوینگ فرست Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's very skilled, and he's very tall for the weight class, so he presented a lot of new challenges, and, um, you know, I'm really excited for this rematch. I think, you know, I learned a lot from that, and I'm hoping that, you know, the things that I've been working on since then are going to help me, you know, improve a lot and make a really big difference, but I have a lot of respect for him as a competitor, and I hope that, you know, this weekend I can, you know, make those improvements and, you know, rush a lot better than I did in uh, Belgrade. خب دیاکو میالیس گوشتگیر خوبیه تونست تو فینال مصابات جهانی بیاد و من از اون طرف فینال اومدم و فینال خوبی بود جذاب بود و و اینکه 65 کیلوگرم سختترین وزن دنیا هستش در حال حاضر و اینکه کوشگیران روس و ژاپن اتوگرون نبود و اینکه خب در مسابقات جام جهانی هم اگر ما از این طرف فینال بیایم و آمریکا از اون طرف حالا هرچه کادر فندین سلام می دانند ولی خب به اعتمال زیاد در فینال کشتی می گیرم 
و میخوام به تعمیر خودم باشم و مثلا برد و باخ داره ولی خب تمام سعی تلاشم برای پیروزی تا ذره دل مردم کشورم شد And also he said that you know the as a whole that the United States differs from the other side and from his side he do his best and it really matter for him. it doesn't matter for him if he's win or lose but it is matter is that he want to be the best for you know who he is and you know make make his you know people in country happy. Perfect. Thanks everybody so much for coming. Team presentations tonight start at 7 p.m. Tomorrow wrestling starts at 10 a.m. So we hope everyone. We'll be there tomorrow sharp at 10 a.m. And until then, we'll see you at the team presentations. Thank you.